right what's good everybody it's your boy it's soon as y'all see man we're here back once again with the tournament of anime as y'all see man it's a quick intro just want to get straight into the video this is going to be a quick video because it was obviously late and i wanted to do a double upload today because it's my first day back returning to you guys feel me and i'm gonna do a double upload tomorrow so be excited for that man we are coming here today with the fighting team versus the superhero team the nerfs of last episode will be inside of the next episode i'm gonna do i'm gonna show two uh I'm probably gonna start doing that whenever i double upload in one day i'll probably put both nerfs in the next day's video so you guys will see the nerfs of boruto and magical index tomorrow but today we are coming here with the fighting team versus the superhero team this is bound to be a crazy fight because our this is our first fight in the next round as you'll see down here this is the losers bracket if you guys want to see what's going on but um do me anybody whoever wins the loser bracket will return back in the main bracket and uh you know proceed in the final so i hope you'll enjoy man it's definitely gonna be crazy if your team lost that doesn't mean they're gone just yet and you know, we got a whole lot of teams that are going to be fighting very, very soon. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing DBZ versus the Miscellaneous team and Video Game Team versus Seven Daily Sins. Or if I do a, a random video or something, you know, just to make sure y'all know it's going to be a double upload. But I hope you'll enjoy, man. We are back here once again, obviously returning with many, many, many uploads on the channel. And uh, just remember, we're going to keep up the pace, man. We're probably going to even pick up the pace. Feel me? I hope you'll enjoy and so let's get into it. All right, let's get started with the second strongest team of both shows. We got Chun-Li, Baki, and my boy what the all right let's get into it don't ask me what happened because i won't tell you but uh let's get right let's get right obviously we got thanos starting off strong thanos a scary character because if he gets all six of his stones he is one of the strongest people on the roster but uh we have to see obviously what he does with his uh potential you know he's, he gets very very strong depending on stones but he doesn't start off the best as well as especially when he's fighting people like this baki's a very strong individual he puts in a lot of combos he's a very strong character in general so you know he's not gonna let you off easy he's, he definitely this is like one of the worst type of matches for thanos because baki is a monster last video i'm pretty sure we've seen him get like six of the stones he switches out but he ends up dying even though he switched out because baki's not letting him off that wall yeah, Baki's not letting him off that wall. And oh my god, this, the, the fighting team is starting off amazing right now. They're starting off amazing right now, like literally. Okay, here we go. And now my boy Thor comes out. Thor is starting to lock in now because uh, he has to lock in now. Because if he doesn't, it's, it's looking bad for him. Because obviously he got jumped a little bit. But now we got, you know, Thor coming back. Putting in, you know, putting in his painting. Okay. Thor getting sent flying. Thor doing a lot of damage to uh my boy Akuma so far, but not enough, obviously, because we need to see uh he, he's gonna have to take down another person after this. He is the strongest on this team, I'm pretty sure. Uh but uh, you know, he hasn't fought the strongest, who is Chun Li, who which is the strongest right now. Definitely gonna take down Akuma. Akuma being a strong fighter, but not enough to keep up with Thor. But now we have um Chun Li. Who is the next fighter to take on obviously my boy thor we're gonna have to see what happens here between these two the two strongest of both teams um thor going on a rampage right now obviously as he is the strongest on both teams i mean the strongest on the superhero team he's gonna put in the most work but we got to see what happens right now suddenly is getting violated i'm not gonna lie she's getting disrespected thor is loki running her down she is a very strong character as we've already seen but um She's going to need a little bit more because Thor is not playing any games with her. Oh, my God, Thor. OK, Baki having one of the best starts ever just for Thor, like to, to ruin his parade, because right now he's putting like pain. Oh, there we go. Great combo. I'm not going to lie. That was a tough combo. OK, now. OK, so she does have a mode. OK. And, and I'm not gonna lie, like I said, Thor is low-key trying to bring this whole video back. And I low-key can see him doing it depending on how he, uh, you know, performs. He already got rid of damn near, basically got rid of Chun-Li. So, you know, this is now the chance for everybody else to put in the work. I'm pretty sure Chun-Li's dead here in a second. I don't know if those electricities can kill her, but I know that can kill her. Okay, yeah, Chun-Li's definitely dead. But, uh... I think I, I I don't I don't know for sure though because obviously she's still going for it. she's still trying to fight and it's Spider Man's not letting her hit that ground oh my god okay so it looks like she's dead but I I don't know Baki's very very low oh Baki has zero health as well so Baki's dead Akuma's dead and um yeah so the the fighting team definitely loses round one I'm not gonna lie Thor brought that whole entire match back. 
All right, let's get into round two. Obviously, the strongest team's going against to this 1-0 now. And the fighting team has to win this to obviously stay in this. It's 1-0. And uh, we're starting off with Toriko going against Hulk. We have Jin Mori behind him. And then, obviously, lastly, uh... Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Hulk starting off strong right now. Jin Mori... Oh, Toriko popping mode off rip damn near, which is... I don't know if that's the best move because he's not gonna get the health back from popping mode later. But um, he will get extra, you know, obviously his buff from being in mode. So that might help out a little bit, especially against Hulk. You never know. You might need it. Oh, some nice damage to Flash and Hulk right there. Okay. That's Loki. how you want to start this match. Right now, because obviously Toriko being in mode, he does have the advantage of Hulk. But um. Okay. Hulk pulling out some trying to trying to get out this corner now even with his obviously his hype armor procs in mode it's not looking too good for him yep oh here we go gonna do some good damage here a little bit of damage obviously Hulk getting through some of that damage there here we go slamming Toriko down to the ground Jin Mori his original uh you know his karate kicks Gonna do some good damage to Hulk here, but Hulk's gonna get through that with his, obviously, with his meter. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna lie. Hulk is getting ran down right now, but he's doing damage to Toriko. Real damage. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, he definitely did some real damage to Toriko there, giving Superman, obviously, the, a, a good a good way to start this round out. But Toriko putting in heavy work. Like I said, we're not surprised that Toriko's doing this because he's already done damage and done, like, you know fights like this before but he's definitely outperforming that he he does he's performing better than he usually performs right now i'm not gonna lie okay okay jinamori knocking back superman here now and superman getting some nice hits on my boy uh not Jim mori uh i keep saying Jim mori my boy toriko okay that's Rico in the corner, and it's looking like he's he's eating a lot of these hits, but he uh, he's definitely taking damage. He's definitely taking real damage. He's definitely getting knocked back. He gets hyper armor procs too as well, in which I'm just starting to notice now. But um, some things like that, like he doesn't he doesn't hyper armor through, so he only gets hyper armor to certain things. So uh, you know, his hyper armor is definitely good, but it's not amazing. You know, it's it, it's not as good as a uh, Hulk's at certain times. Yeah, that ice breath is breaking through that hyper armor like there's no tomorrow. But I'm not gonna lie, he's doing good against Superman. For somebody like Superman, how strong Superman is. Oh, that's gonna hurt. And the fact that he can stun you from across the field with that move is what makes it so tough. Okay, Toriko healing up a little bit because of uh obviously his uh he eating this little food thing that he was eating. But um Okay, Toriko going into the background now. And now it's Kenshiro going against Superman. The two strongest of both teams. Um, I don't know how this is going to go because Kenshiro is getting ran down right now. It's not looking too good for Kenshiro. Oh, my God. Superman's putting in that pain right now. Okay. Okay. There we go. Kenshiro with some combos. Knocking Superman off of him a little bit. And here we go. We got Superman going to Superman 1 million. This is where it's going to start getting, obviously, a little bit harder. Somebody else transforming? I know y'all just heard that just now. What the hell was that? Okay, here we go. Now we got Superman going against uh my boy Kenshiro. Kenshiro getting a little bit a little bit distance, which is kind of smart, so he doesn't have to get close to Superman, which get, might yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of smart. Alright, here we go. Strongest versus strongest. Let's see how this goes, y'all. Okay. Oh, Kenshiro popping his first mode. Superman popping his last mode, obviously, other than his clone pop. This is the last thing that Superman has in his kit. Okay. Yeah, Kenshiro is going to have a hard time here. Toriko very, very low in the background. It ain't looking too good for the superhero team. I mean, for the fighting team. Here we go. We got Kenshiro absorbing all of his, like, uh, his past relatives or something. I don't know what that mode means, but um, I know that's going to hurt. Okay, Superman's, Superman's, uh, his clone helping out now in the battle here. And this is going to be way harder for Kenshiro. Obviously, Kenshiro is a strong opponent. But he ain't the strongest person in the world. And Jin Mori switching in here. I don't know if that was the best option because, like I said, this is just going to damage on Jin Mori. He should have, Kenshiro should have finished this fight. Superman's going to put damage on anybody he's fighting, though. That's just the real. But maybe switching out into Jin Mori was the right thing. I don't know. I can't tell if that's the right decision yet because he's literally losing. 
Yo, he's literally getting just ran down by the clone. Quite literally. Literally, Superman and, and, and Superman's literally just running Jim Mori down. Oh my god, Superman is getting nerfed. <laughs> this nigga is crazy. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the fighting team's done though. Yeah, they're cooked. Intro trying to fight back a little bit as we're seeing, but um Yeah, he's done. He's done. And Toriko is the only one left getting finished off by Superman and the team. As y'all know, man, nerfs and buffs obviously coming every single day. We're going to do one more final fight with the third team. We'll be our bet. One final battle, obviously. Like I said, we will be doing nerfs and buffs, obviously. So you guys let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Um, Superman going to get nerfed pretty bad. Like, there was clone because his clone is ridiculous. But other than that, he's not, you know, I like Superman being strong. There's nothing wrong with being strong. But his clone is just, like, on another level. You see with those ice breaths and everything. So that's something that definitely needs to be touched up on. But oh my god, the fighting team just threw a barrage out on Superman. They said, okay, you want to be disrespectful to us, feel me? We got to give you, feel me, that that, that, that pain. Epo pulling up, giving him that combo, that wombo combo. And that's not, you don't want to get hit with that. I'm not going to lie. Epo's the last nigga in the room you want to get in with and feel me get in that ring with. But um, like I said, if y'all feel like any other nerfs or buffs should happen, y'all let me know down below. Obviously, you guys will see the nerfs and buffs up to today's episode and the episode that was earlier today. So you guys will get to see both of them before... um before obviously you know the new the new episode comes out oh my, okay some nice little damage but yeah you guys will get to, you guys will get to see today's obviously both of today's episodes buffs and nerfs tomorrow in the next video so definitely gonna get to see a lot of you know good stuff going on gonna be double uploads for a long time you guys i might even just start sticking to the daily double uploads who, who knows you know like i said that's something I, I i've been wanting to do the intros might start getting a little less edited just for today, um, I'm, I'm going to keep editing my intros, but like I said, I'm going to start doing double uploads, at least until Sparking Zero comes out. And even when that comes out, I might start doing double uploads. Is that Evil's bones on the damn floor? Oh my God. Yo, Wolverine is crazy. <laughs> w new Wolverine. Like I said, we really didn't get to see too much of him in today's video because he is brand new. He was on the first team, but um, oh, those are not Evil's bones on the ground. Somebody else's bones are on the ground. Although I think those are Evil's bones. I, I, I don't know, man. I swear I just seen Epo. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, oh my God, Superman's ice breath shredding Chun Li a little bit. But um, y'all let me know down below, man. Out of all these teams, who are y'all rooting for to win the entire tournament of anime? I feel like all these shows are definitely, you know, just W. Uh, for me, a lot, a lot of tough ass shows. A lot of teams left that you guys might enjoy. Chun Li and Wolverine going at it a little bit. Okay. Obviously, today's episode was a 2-0. It might be a 3-0, depending on how this fight goes. I wasn't going to show the full fight. just going to give you guys an outro. But we might as well see feel me, let's see some nice little Mugen, nice little Mugen combos, nice little Mugen antics. I'm going to be doing a, another subscriber request very, very soon. So make sure to join the Discord down below if you guys want to see your, your fight done, your fight requested, feel me, etc. man. Because y'all know I do, do all the fights down below in the Discord. So, feel me, don't miss out. Okay. Wolverine and Chun Li going at it right now, but I'm pretty sure Chun Li's done. Um, I did hear her scream like she's about to, like she's dead, but um, I don't know if she's dead because if they're still hitting her, like, like this nigga, this nigga Wolverine's not stopping. <laughs> Is he the first person out? I right, yeah, mean, there we go. Oh, okay, so Epo wasn't dead. Oh, okay, yeah, actually, I should have known that because Epo didn't go into mode yet. Okay. Oh yeah, Epo. Epo's here now, but um, yeah, that nigga Wolverine just ripped through him. Did Yujiro Hama even fight? Was Yujiro even here? I don't even remember seeing Yujiro. But I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. That was the superhero team destroying the fighting team. It was a good fight, but uh, shit, ISO gang, we out here.